Hi guys, Miss Courtney, miss you guys. Hope you guys are staying stay safe and having fun. Uh, today we're gonna talk about rounding to the nearest 10. So we have our number 572. We're gonna find, first we're gonna label. So we're gonna say ones, tens, hundreds, okay? So we know that the seven is in our tens place. So we're gonna underline our seven. Now we're gonna branch out. We're looking over here. So this would be, is our seven going to be a 70 or an 80? So we're looking here, we see the two is lower than a four, so it's going to be a 70. So this is gonna be 570. And then we're looking over here and we're counting up by tens. So Ava Lynn, if I'm counting up by tens from 70, what's my next 10 gonna be? Um, what's the question? What's the next 10 gonna be? It's gonna be 580. 80, good. So we have 570, 580. In between the two, we would have 500 and, oops, 575. So, is 572 come before or after 575? And we know, because our amazing minds are telling us and we're amazing mathematicians, that 572 is going to come before 575. So we're going to round it to 570. Remember, the hundredths position stays the same. The tens and the ones is what changes. And the ones is going to change to a zero. The tens is either going to stay the same or it's going to change by one. So let's try a different number that's a little bit harder because I know you guys are amazing mathematicians. So if we have 1,000, so we have our number 1,363. So let's label our spots again. We have ones, Tens, Calvin, what comes next? After, after tens. After the tens comes the hundreds. And then what? Then we have the thousands. Then we have the thousands. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Avalyn's trying to make her debut on the video. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now we're going to underline again. We're going to underline our tens. We're gonna underline our tens position, okay? We're gonna branch off. Now, our thousands and our hundreds is going to stay the same. So we'll have 1,300. Our tens position right now is gonna stay the same. So 1,360. And then Avalyn, what's 10 more than 60? Um, no. You just said it. 70. 70. So we'll have 1,370 on the other side. In the middle, we're going to have 1,365. Now, I'm looking at my number. Is 63 going to come before or after 65? What do you think, Calvin? What did you say again? Is 63 come before or after 65? 63 becomes a, comes before 65. Right, it comes before. So we're going to round it to 1,360. Because right here we know that 1,363 comes before 1,365. Okay? Last one I'm going to do is going to be a really easy one. 472, again, we're going to underline, we're going to label first, sorry, we're gonna label. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, okay? Now we're going to underline our tens, which is our seven. We're going to look, make our lines, this is the hundredth spot is going to stay the same. So it's going to be 400 
and 70 or 480. In between the two is going to be 475 because we know that's halfway. And we're looking at 472 going to come before or after 475. Well, as amazing mathematicians, we know it's going to come before. So it's going to round to 470. Remember, always label ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, whatever you have. Underline where your position is and make your tree to tell you where it's going to go. All right, guys, I had fun teaching you guys today. Sorry, I can't see.